You ever see these two little dots before in Spanish? Yeah, they have a fancy name. The fancy name is dieresis. I call them two little dots. I'll be very honest. I don't even know the English word for it. And uh, you ever wonder what they do? Well, they change the way that we pronounce syllables, specifically when we have a G-U plus an I or an E. So U plus two dots equals W. You're like, Maestro, how do I pronounce those syllables? I don't really know. Well, let's always go back to words that you know. All right, so you know these words, right? Guerra, pague, guitarra, guia. So anytime you're trying to figure out how to pronounce something, go back to a word that you know. Now, these two little dots we can put on the U. So let's just put them on the U, all right? So I'm going to draw this little asterisk, and this means that this word doesn't really exist. I'm just using it for an example. So guerra would change to guerra. Pague would change to pague. Pague, just a funny word. Guitarra, guitarra, guitarra. Or guia would be guia, guia. All right, well, that's not very helpful, right? Because those aren't real words. So what are some real words? Well, we have bilingüe, because it's not bilingue. It's bilingüe, vergüenza. So that G-U-E is gwen. All right, then we have words with an G-U-I, linguistica. Not linguistica, linguistica. Or one of my favorite words, or maybe just my favorite animal. Who doesn't like a penguin? We have pinguino. Pinguino. All right, so let's let's look at a real-world example where you might actually need to use this and know this. All right, so we have the verb averiguar, which means to ascertain or to find out. And see how that is, guar, averiguar, because a G-U-A is going to give us already that W sound. Well, let's put this verb into the preterite, and let's look at box one, the yo form. And as it's written, G-U-E would be averigué. But sound is always the most important thing in Spanish, and we're going to do whatever we can to maintain that sound. So we have averiguar, that gu sound in the infinitive. So we need to maintain that with box one. So we're going to put two dots on the U and get averigué. So that's how you're going to probably see it. The rest of the boxes, two, three, four, five, six, they're normal. We don't have to worry about it because it's the G-U-E and the G-U-I that are going to cause us problems. And why do you want to know what this diéresis does, how it changes word, and what it's called? Because if you're at a party sometime and someone brings it up, you will be the life of the party with your linguistic knowledge. Maybe. Write your favorite Spanish word below that has the diéresis, the two dots, and uh, check out these other videos that can help you improve your Spanish pronunciation. Suerte.